introduction to the HMI devices in your TIA portal project. Okay, so we have some TIA portal project where we add PLC. When you want to use the HMI in your TIA portal project, you just wanna insert it to this project by clicking on the add new device. Here choose HMI button and for example we use this HMI device and for example with name project HMI okay after this you click on the OK button here you have HMI device wizard when you, where you can select some predefined headers alarms ATC we don't use it for now okay we click on the finish and here how you can see now we insert our HMI device to the PLC project which is created in the TIA portal software okay so first we go to the device and networks window and here is our HMI device in the hardware configuration if you want to change your HMI for example to lower screen you just click on the HMI device by the right click and go to the change device or version so for example we use this one HMI you can see this is the current device in the hardware configuration and this is the new device which we want to change OK then click on the OK button and how you can see we change the HMI so at first we check the IP address of the devices OK click on the HMI device in your hardware configuration and choose the property option properties sorry and as first we change the IP address of the HMI to be on the same subnet as the PLC so for example we use this IP address ok and this subnet mask also you can change the profinet device name for now we generate uh, the, these profinet device names automatically but also you can change it for example my HMI ok we save it and go back to the device and networks window as a next step you want to create the connection between between the HMI and the PLC ok for this you click on the connections button and choose the HMI connection ok and next just drag and drop from the PLC port to the HMI port and now how you can see <coughs> we create the connection between the PLC and the HMI ok we save this and now we go to the project tree of the HMI device <coughs> in your TIA portal project so how you can see is here and here you have many options <coughs> to design and control your HMI As first here is device configuration <coughs> is the same like before As you can see network view and you click on the device and you are in the device configuration okay then when you are online with the HMI you can go to the online and diagnostic window and check the Ethernet IP address of the 
HMI, then MAC address ATC, and also you can assign IP address and Profinet device name to your HMI device on the network. Remember, you want to be online to use these functions. Then you also have here runtime settings, which you want to use, for example, when you make some changes on the alarms, for example, enable alarm class color ATC. Okay. We show this later. So then you have here screens. When you can add the new screen to your HMI and create your visualization. As default, <coughs> there is created the root screen on the HMI, how you can see. Now it's clear, but also you can insert here some buttons, <coughs> IO fields, graphic, ATC, which you can use for the control, the program in your PLC and the machine. Okay. Then here is the screen management. Where are options like templates for your screens. Then also here is the pop-up screens, which you can use on your HMI visualization. Then you can also use sliding screens, global screens, which show on all screens on your HMI visualization. And also here is the permanent area. Pop-up screens and sliding screens. If I'm right, you can use only in the comfort HMI panel. Okay, then you have here also HMI text, where by default, this default tag table is creating is created when you create the HMI project. And also you can add a new tag table. For example, how you can see, when you click on it, you can change the name of this tag table. For example, internal text and we create next one for example with name external text okay when you go to this tech table <coughs> here you can insert the new HMI tech by clicking on the add new in the row okay so you can define the name of this tag, for example, light one, and also you can insert another, for example, light two. For the tag, you define the data type of this tag. We choose, for example, wool data type. Also, you insert the connection of this tag when this tag is internal tag of the HMI and you don't use this tag for the communication between the HMI and PLC you just define it as an internal tag and when you use this tag for the communication between the HMI and PLC you just choose the type of connection which you define before in your hardware configuration configuration sorry so we choose HMI connection number one and you also need to define to which PLC tag is this HMI tag linked for example we create some tag in the PLC HMI tag for example integer okay save it and we go back to the external text table in the HMI 
and define the PLC tag for this HMI external tag. Here is a window and you just want to find th this tag and here we have it HMI tag, we click on it and click on the OK button and now this tag is connected with this PLC tag and you also can define the acquisition cycle time for your tag for example we choose one hundred millisecond this tag will be refreshed every one hundred millisecond of the HMI cycle time okay so this is for the tags now we have here also the connection window where you can see the our connection between the PLC and the our HMI here is the name of this connection communication driver ATC this one connection is this connection which we create in the device and network view okay then also you can add to your HMI visualization some HMI alarms you can use discrete alarms and analog alarms and there is also some controllers alarms system events and for all these discrete and analog alarms you can define the alarm classes and the alarm groups so also you can define the receipts in your HMI project where you define the receipt and the elements and data records of this recipe. Also you can log data and these data logs you can create by the clicking on the historical data option in your HMI project tree where how you can see you can create the data logs and also logs of your alarms here in the alarm logs window. How you can see in data logs, you create a data log, define the storage location ATC, and you define which kind of text you want to log in here in the logging text window. Okay. If you have if you have comfort panel, you can define some scripts, Visual Basic scripts, by clicking on the Add New Visual Basic function which are insert the scripts option okay we create the new script function and here you can define your code of your script which you want to use in your HMI device okay so then there is some scheduled tasks which you can use also in your project where you click on the scheduled text and choose the trigger of your scheduled text and you can define some events on this scheduled text for example when when we change the screen we call some script which are codes in visual basic okay here in the text and graphic list option you can define some text list which you use in your HMI project by clicking on the add new text list and here you define the entries of your created text list and same you can create the graphic list also by clicking on the new graphic list and also defining the entries of this graphic list.
and and list <coughs> you can define the user administration of your HMI if you want to create some users which have some rights in your HMI for example when you want to go to the screen settings you want to have some rights and you want to be in the administration group for example so how you can see here you can insert the users and for these users you define the group in which this user is and here you can also define the groups and the authorization of these groups also you can define the project text or languages in your HMI project this one is for the all languages in your TIA portal project no only for the HMI project so for example we click on the project languages here we just choose the editing language will be English and for example we also use I don't know German language okay we save the changes close it then you go to the runtime settings go to the language and fonts options and here you just enable the German English in your HMI project and now you can use two languages in your HMI so okay this is the all for the first lesson about the HMI devices and the HMI project in the TIA portal software thank you for watching and goodbye